done, which is totally fine. Um, like I said, torpedo bomber damage, 5% increase per torpedo, that can, you know, that'll that'll add an extra 100. You know, when you hit so many torpedoes and they hang on by 12, 12 points, that 5% can take out that 12. Last but not least, because I tend to default towards torps more than um, dive bombers, I have Futita Mitsudo, Mitsuo, excuse me. Um, he has Pearl Harbor Hawk. Um, he increases damage dealt by torpedoes by 10% after use. Um, so if I got three flights of torp bombers going in, I fire that off, they will be 10% higher. You know, if I couple that with Ardor Shelby's 5%, that'd be 15% bonus, which is, you know, a significant amount. Um, which, again, like I said, he is one of the few torpedo bomber captains that that'll help out. You know, if you're willing to give up that 10% for the reload for 10% more damage, that's up to you. But like I said, this is what I have out of a lot of commanders. Um, I will explain some nicer ones later, but this is just what I'm showing you that I run currently. He has Tora 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 grants 45% chance to increase the speed of all aircraft that take off by 8% when an enemy is hit by torpedo bombers. So, you know, nothing's nothing's better than uh, getting your planes out there quicker. Um, I love the, the Tora 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 movie reference, um, Pearl Harbor Hawk as well. Um, he also has circle training too, which means my three cap, uh, commanders all increase my fights uh, steering performance by 6% combined, which is a lot. It is seriously helpful. Um, he has fuel efficiency at elite, which is three stars. Um, decrease the fuel consumption of all types airboard, so you tack that onto the 5% from uh, Arnold and 20% uh, from the tank on the ship, and you've got 30% better range. Nobody can complain about that. Last but not least, his four star, his excellent ability, is increases the speed of all type of aircraft by 5%. Now, that is a small percent, but when you think about an airplane, let's say your fighter, which will go, let's just say, 100 kilom 99 kilometers, you, you, or 100, you add that 5%, he now goes 105, which means he's slightly faster and slightly more maneuverable than enemy bomber. Uh, enemy fighters, enemy bombers, enemy uh, torpers. You know, you can you can catch them before they get to you. That five percent can stop them from coming the halfway point. That is imperative to forcing a rival carrier's planes back. Keep them closer to the enemy and not over your fleet. Now, flipping into barracks, um, we're in a gallery here. Um, let's do it this way. In your in your one stars, um, and this is going to change because I have leveled up two commanders and deregulated everybody so yours might be different due to where your commanders might be start out so a lot of these commanders don't really do a whole lot for for aircraft carriers you know they're mostly for you know battleships destroyers and cruisers and things like that in the in the one star there's very few one stars that are that are carriers um, there is a, an exception to that for somebody who is down low that you don't see very often um, but for the most part, all of these guys down here, not really going to help your carrier do anything. So one stars pretty much aren't going to be your forte. Now you get in two stars, the story changes a little bit. You start seeing um, people like Arnold Shelby. Uh, you see Onishi Tajiro. I totally butchered it. Takajiro, sorry. Sorry. Um, who, for example, increases damage dealt by dive bombers by 10% after use. This can skill them use. So, like... Um, Tetsuda uh, Mitsudo, Mitsuo, who does torpedoes, he does dive bombers. You know, he also has cross island attack, which grants a 20% chance to increase the shooting range of artillery and torpedoes by 10%, and decrease flight deck reload time by 10 when your ship's weapon hit an enemy. On a carrier that lacks any sort of main gun, i.e. the independence, this doesn't do you any good. The other thing I have with this is he has to be an elite, and it's only a 20% for 20 seconds. Now, that can be helpful in the higher tiers because that flight deck reload time 10% stacked with a captain that gives 10%. For 20 seconds, your flight deck is re reduced by 20%. So, it, it has its merits, but it really doesn't do much for you out of the lower tiers. He's really kind of, that's kind of a higher tier thing that would be more useful there. He does have fuel efficiency, which decreases the fuel fuel of all planes. He does have ground service training one, um, which means you would increase your dex reload time by 1%, and he increases the aim of dive bombers by five. Now, 
again, he is more set up for if you wanted a dive bomber captain, he would be... Oh, hey, that guy got a rare four-star. Awesome. Um, he would be good. Now, Arnold Shelby, as we talked about, um, durability and flying speed, he's kind of cool depending on what your fleet's doing. In, in a pub server, he's not that great as a captain. Uh, moving on, we have... Where do you go? James Doolittle. Now, a lot of people and I go back and forth about James Doolittle. Um, to me, James Doolittle is great for one thing, and that is his Hawkeye. However, it costs excellent to get to. Increasing the scouting range of all aircraft by 200 meters doesn't sound like a lot, but for an airplane, that is a huge distance. But, you know, increases disguise by 2%. That's okay. Incre air attack warning. Eh. Carpet bombing, as we saw in the other commander. Already have it. You know, increases dive bomber speed by 2% not really significant enough to make a huge difference in the grand scheme of dive bomber scheme. Dive bombing aiming speed. Then you have Hawkeye which increases the range of all aircraft by 200 meters. That is an amazing skill. But the sad side is I already have air attack warning. I already have um, dive bomber uh, damage for captain. So really James kind of got the short end of the stick. I, uh, I kind of wish you know history wise he had gotten some better better bomber stuff you know like you should have had like something called like high altitude bombing meaning your dive bombers uh, are 60 percent harder to hit um, due to their altitude over the ship or something like that you know just something that would have been a little better but you know that's why he's not there um, you already we already went over Mitsuo who's already on my ship a lot of people talk about putting Arturo Riccardi on as a captain because he increases AA gun damage for 15 percent for 15 seconds like I said, um, Matsuda Chikai is a much better thing because he is statically constantly 50% uh, damage from AA and MG. Um, the only thing that would be cool is you stack him on top of Matsuda Chikai and bam, you've got 30% for 20, for 15 seconds. That, that'll that rip a couple of flights of planes apart. Um, you know, he has enhanced MG1, which increases your MG damage. He has anti-air commander. When he's assigned his gunner, he'll prioritize let the enemy fighters within range. Not really that great for a... Uh, for an ability, and then he increases your scouting range by 150 meters. Again, on a tier 4 that has no guns, it doesn't really help to be able to see out there. You just see your impending doom. Last but not least, you got Max and these guys down here. They don't really do anything carrier-wise. Um, you know, they're just scouting and ship ejector prime. But, see, you don't have a ship ejector, you have a flight deck, so that doesn't really do you any good. Moving up to the three stars. Um, Frank Fletcher, uh, Fleet Cruise... His fleet cruise isn't that great. Iron Will is okay, but doesn't really do any good because you don't really use that commander ability. Uh, he does have Immelm in turn, which if I were to throw him on there, that would be 8% better turning radius. Um, he has ground service training 1, which reduces uh, airplane uh, preparation time by 1% versus Mark Mitchell's 10%. And then he has Circle Training 3, increases the steering performance of all ship or craft by 3%. Now, he is decent. Now, what's really cool is when you click Preview on these guys, and you change them to Legendary. Here, I'm going to drop him back down to Elite. Excellent. So you see that his ground service training here changes from 1, 2, 3. So he then jumps it up to 5%. Now, that's cool, but still half of what... Uh, Mark Mitchell can do. So Frank, unfortunately, gets the short end of the stick here. Um, the next one up, we have doo -doo 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 for airplanes. We already explained Machida Chikai versus Arturo. Statically, always 15% versus 15 seconds. Um, here's your Mark Mitcher. We're going to pop up into here for Legendary. I'm going to show you Excellent really quick. So, Enhanced Engine right there changes to Enhanced Engine 2. You gain another knot if you get him up to 5 star. So not much changes on him, but that is a nice little setup he has there. Two knots is actually quite useful. Um, we already went over James Johnson. Um, pretty much all the rest of these three stars, you have Shigi, uh, Shigiyoshi Inoue. Inoue. He has carpet bombing, which again is that dive bomber ability. And then you have air attack warning. And then you have toughness, down thrust, and sea fight three. Now... Toughness 2, durability is cool, but the thing is, I think it only rec recognizes your ship because it doesn't state airplanes, so we pretty much figured out that that was just the ship durability, not your planes. Kind of frustrating. 
Down thrust training two increases the aiming speed of dive bombers by 3%. Again, you're aiming for dive bombers to do their thing. That helps. You couple that with a couple others, you'll see it jump up to, you know, 5 to 6% if you go with the dive bomber captains. And then you have your increases damage dealt um, by 10% after use. Uh, Willis Yang, not much. Oh yeah, sorry. His his last ability is increase the disguise of all shipboard aircraft by 1.5%. Just like destroyers disguise, that actually is helps. But the thing is, you got to get up to four stars, which <sighs> you have other people that add disguise to your airplanes uh, much better than just him. Let's see what we got. Where did they go? I think they're tier two. Anyways, um, jumping up to tier four. This is where there's a lot more CV captains um, and CV captain abilities. So here we're starting with Raymond Spruits. Emergency dispatch decreases aircraft carrier cooldown 10 by 30% and increases aircraft speed by 10 for 60 seconds. Really what this is saying is get your planes up and get them out there. It's all about getting them up and getting them out as fast as possible, which is a really good skill. Now, potential. When you get to the higher tier aircraft carriers like my Midway, which is a tier 10, this actually can help because I have 19, or excuse me, I have 18 main cannons, nine on each side. Increases the ship's repair speed by 15%, increase main artillery reload speed and aiming speed by 10%, and decrease flight deck reload time by 10% when durability is under 15. Last for 30 seconds. That fires off on its own. It proxies on its own. You don't see it coming. It just does it. And you got 30 seconds to use it, and I believe it's a 45 second cooldown time. So it's a good ability. It really is. Hawkeye, right out the box. Again, why James Doolittle takes a back seat because the time it would be to level up and get James Doolittle to Hawkeye, Raymond Spruce, you could spend about the same amount of EXP or uh, qualifications to get him. Um, increase the scouting range of 200 meters. Yeah, the thing is like, oh, well, it can add 200, they'll have 400, they'll have half a click. At that point, you're filling in a lot of gap, though. It's, it's two spots for that. Not really that effective. Um, you then have ground service training 2, which is increases aircraft carry deck reload time by 3. So if you throw him as commander, he'll statically give you a 3% better time, which is 7% less than Mark Mitcher, but potatoes, potatoes, depending on who you are. And then you have bomb aiming device, increases dive bomber accuracy by 10%. We were talking about the other commanders giving it 5 and 10% speed and accuracy. Here he is just right out the gate with 10%. Overall, he is a good commander to have on a carrier just because of his all over the place, you know, deck reload, potential, Hawkeye, and for the dive bombers, you do get that 10%. Um, not him, sorry. John Clarkston. I can't tell you how disappointed I am in him. I really am. Fleet crews at this level was absolutely a horrible mistake. I honestly, it was just bad. They should not have done that. He has air attack warning, so he is literally with Frank Fletcher right now and Mark Mitchell. It's for the tier two abilities. Nothing new for four star. Ground service training one. It's even worse than Raymond Spruance's three percent. He only gets one percent, and then he increases aiming speed of dive bombers by four percent and increases dive bomber accuracy by ten. So once again, you have a four star. And if you look at this, look at this, look at this. He has three out of four done on the bottom. You only need to get him to level 7 to get that dive bombers by 4%, but you already have commanders who have that. So really, he's not going to be a great service to you. I have him. I use him. I was severely disappointed. Um, Alan McMillan's up here um, um, because I got him up to 4 stars, uh, not because that's where he is. It's just this tells you where they are in rela relation to what you are. Now, that was my little drum roll for Yamamoto Yasuruko. Um, I'm really mad at one of our fleet mates. He got him on the first day he played the game, and I was just like, you suck. So, starting with this guy. By far, probably first best aircraft commander overall outside of fleet battle, and even somewhat in fleet battle. But outside of fleet battle, he is by far the, the most brutal captain you can get as a carrier. So we're going to start here. Admiral's Chosen. Only available when ship magazines haven't been damaged. Use overload ramming to reduce reload time of all weapons by 10%. Increase damage by 10 and reduce flight deck reload time by 15%. Let's bounce right up here to Raymond Spruce. Cool down 30% for 60 seconds. 
Light deck reload, 15. Huge. And if you have guns on your car 